Hello everyone, myself Dr. N. C. H. Ramgopal working as Associate Professor in Mathematics in the Department of Humanities and Sciences, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. I welcome you all to the today's presentation on Poisson Distribution Part 3. Coming to the previous session, in the last session we have introduced uh, Poisson Distribution and we derived the formula for mean and variance of Poisson Distribution and we have solved some problems on Poisson Distribution also. Now, in today's presentation also, I would like to solve some more problems on Poisson distribution. And in Poisson distribution, the probability of x successes is given by e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. Here, lambda is the parameter of Poisson distribution, parameter of Poisson distribution. And the mean of Poisson distribution is lambda and variance of Poisson distribution is also lambda. Now, the first problem, he, if a bank receives on the average 6 bad checks per day, determine the probability that it will receive 4 bad checks on any given day. So, the question is very simple and only 2 values are given, 6 and 4. And first, try to understand the given problem and note down the given data, what are the given values and what is the required one to find and which distribution is to be used. Here, the given information is the bank receives on an average 6 bad checks per day. So, the average or mean mu is given 6 and we need to find the probability of getting 4 bad checks on any given day. So, here there is no number of trials n, n is not given, p is also not given. So, we cannot apply binomial distribution and here we can apply Poisson distribution since the mean mu is given. The mean is mu equal to 6 and we know that the mean of Poisson distribution mu equal to lambda. So, this is equation 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 lambda equal to 6. So, if we have the value of lambda, we can find the probability of any number of successes. So, probability of x successes using Poisson distribution is e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial and here lambda is 6. So, e power minus 6, 6 power x by x factorial and it is required to find the probability of receiving 4 bad checks. So, x equal to 4 on any given day and we have the formula here e power minus 6, 6 power x, x is 4 by 4 factorial. So, this is e power minus 6 into 6 power 4, 36 into 36 by 4 factorial is 24. So, after calculating the final answer will be, so after calculating the final answer will be equal to 0 0.1339. So, if we have the value of lambda, we can calculate the probability of any number of successes using Poisson distribution. Similarly, let me explain one more problem. A manufacturer of cotton pins knows that 5% of his product is defective. So, he knows that 5% of his product is defective. Now, the another information given is pins are sold in boxes of 100. So, the pins are sold in boxes of 100 and now he guarantees that not more than 10 pins will be defective. He guarantees that not more than 10 pins will be defective. What is the probability that a box will fail to meet the given guarantee, guaranteed quality? So, when the box will, a particular box will fail to meet the given guarantee. If you know that, that gives the probability of a particular box will violate the given guarantee. Now, first note down the given data first. He knows that 5 percent of his product is defective. So, the probability of defective product or items, defective items is equal to let us consider that as small p, 0 0.05, 5 percent is given and he sells 
and he sells the pins in boxes of 100 and now to check the given guarantee we need to check all the pins of that box 100 pins we need to check how many of them are defective so here we consider that 100 as the number of trials n equal to 100 so we have the probability of success p and number of trials m so we know that lambda equal to np because the binomial distribution can be approximated by poisson distribution using lambda equal to np so lambda equal to n into p 100 into 0.05 that implies the value of lambda is 5 now we have the value of lambda so by the poisson distribution probability of x successes is given by e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial and here the value of lambda is 5 so e power minus 5 5 power x by x factorial now what is this guarantee given guarantee is not more than 10 pins not more than 10 pins will be defective in a box not more than 10 pins will be defective in a box maximum there will be 10 defective pins that is the given guarantee now we need to find the probability that a box will fail to meet the given guarantee so that means when his guarantee fails if there are more than 10 defective pins are there if there are more than 10 defective pins are there therefore the probability of a box will fail to meet the given guarantee is equal to probability of x greater than 10 if we prove that there are more than 10 defective pins in a box then his guarantee will be failed so it is required to find probability of x greater than 10 x greater than 10 means in a box there are 100 pins so 11 to 100 we need to find all the probabilities and add but instead of finding those 90 values it is better to use the property that the total probability is always unity so x greater than 10 is given by 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 10 so here 1 minus sigma x equal to 0 to 10 0 means no defective pin 1 defective pin 2 defective pins 3 4 and so on up to 10 e power minus 5 5 power x by x factorial and this summation can be calculated using poisson distribution table direct this sum will be given in the poisson distribution table so using the poisson distribution table this value is equal to 0.9863 so the answer is 0 0.0137 so the probability of a particular box will violate the given guarantee is 0 0.0137 poisson distribution table so we can use the poisson distribution table and we can find this sum similarly another problem a random variable has a poisson distribution such that p of 1 equal to p of 2 this is the given condition solution and it is clearly mentioned poisson distribution so by the poisson distribution the probability of x successes is given by e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial and it is given that probability of one success is equal to probability of two successes so you can use directly this and then uh, you, we can calculate the value of lambda from this given relation if we have the value of lambda we can find the probabilities using poisson distribution so we can use the direct formula or the recurrence relation also by the recurrence relation of poisson distribution we have 
P of x plus 1 successes is lambda by x plus 1 into P of x successes. That implies probability of x plus 1 successes by probability of x successes is lambda by x plus 1. And here put x equal to 1, x equal to 1, then the numerator will be P of 2, denominator is P of 1 and lambda, we do not know the value of lambda here, we need to calculate and x equal to 1, so lambda by 2. So, that implies lambda by 2 equal to P of 2 by P of 1, but P of 2 and P of 1 are equal. So, we can consider both as P of 1 lambda equal to 2. So, now we have the value of lambda so that we can calculate the first problem probability of x is equal to 4, 4 successes, probability of 4 successes, e power minus lambda is, so here e power minus 2, 2 power x by 2 factorial, so e power minus 2, 2 power 4 by, this is x factorial, so 4 factorial, e power minus 2 we can calculate using calci and 2 power 4 is 16 divided by 24 and the final answer is equal to 0 0.09022. Similarly, the second question probability of x greater than or equal to 1, x greater than or equal to 1, instead of finding the values of x greater than or equal to 1, use the property that the total probability is unity. So, 1 minus probability of x less than 1 less than 1 means there is only one and only one value 0. So, 1 minus e power minus 2, 2 power 0 by 0 factorial. So, simply 1 minus e power minus 2, this value is equal to 0.8647. Similarly, the fourth one, yeah, this is second problem and this is third and finding the value of lambda, this itself the first one because mean of the distribution we know that the Poisson distribution, for Poisson distribution mean is lambda. So, the first one is in finding the value of lambda, second probability of 4 successes, third greater than or equal to 1 success. Now, the fourth one finding probability of 1 less than x less than 4. So, 1 less than x less than 4 means strictly less than and x is the discrete probability distribution. So, therefore, here x is the discrete random variable and the distribution is discrete probability distribution. Strictly less than means probability of x equal to 2 plus probability of x equal to 3. So, e power minus 2, 2 square by 2 factorial plus e power minus 2, 2 cube by 3 factorial. Simply replace the value of x. So, here e power minus 2 common 4 by 2 plus 8 by 6. So, e power minus 2 into 2 plus 4 by 3. So, this after calculating the value of e power minus 2 multiplied by this quantity, we get 0 0.4511. So, if the relation between any two successes, probability of any two continuous uh, successive values, for example, x equal to xi and x equal to xj, if the relation between these two are equal, for example, these two are equal or two times or three times or one third of the first one. Like that if the relation is given, using this relation we can calculate the value of lambda and if you have the value of lambda, then using the Poisson formula e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial, you can calculate any given probability. Now, the next problem, 2 percent of the items of a factory are defective. So, it is very clear that the probability of defective item is given, defective item P equal to 2 percent, so 0 0.02. Next, the items are packed in boxes. What is the probability that there will be, first question, probability of 2 defective items, probability of 2 defective items. So, here let us use the Poisson distribution and the formula in Poisson distribution is e power minus lambda 
into lambda power x by x factorial and we need to calculate lambda. So, where lambda is the parameter given by n into p and here given. So, find the probability of 2 defective items and at least 3 defective items in a box of 100 items. So, given n equal to 100, p equal to 0 0.02 using these two lambda equal to n p which is equal to 2. So, therefore, we can use the formula as e power minus 2, 2 power x by x factorial. Now, let us calculate the first one. The first one is probability of 2 defective items. So, x equal to 2, e power minus 2, 2 square by 2 factorial. So, after finding this uh, value, we get 0 0.2706. Similarly, the second one, at least 3 defective items, at least means minimum 3, maximum that can be any number. So, probability of minimum is 3, x greater than or equal to 3. But instead of finding all those values, let us use the property p of x greater than or equal to 3 is equal to 1 minus probability of x less than 3. x less than 3 means probability of x equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 plus x equal to 2. So, use the formula e power minus 2, 2 power 0 by 0 factorial, e power minus 2, 2 power 1 by 1 factorial. This is the pr probability in Poisson distribution. Simply change the value of x to factorial. So, that value is that implies probability of x greater than or equal to 3 is 1 minus and after calculating this individual values and adding and subtracting from 1, we get this value final answer is equal to 0 0.3233. So, like this we can find the required probabilities using the Poisson distribution. Now, coming to another problem, here again a relation between the values is given probability of x equal to 1 is 3 by 2 times of probability of x equal to 3. Then find the probability of x greater than or equal to 1, x less than 3 and x lies between 2 and 5. So, let us use the Poisson distribution recurrence relation and as well as, well as the formula e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial and the recurrence relation in Poisson distribution is probability of x plus 1 successes by probability of x successes is lambda by x plus 1. So, whichever is convenient to you that you can apply and our main motto here is to find the value of lambda because this lambda is the parameter of Poisson distribution and if you have this value of lambda, you can calculate any probability. So, here we can use the recurrence relation if successive values are given x and x plus 1. Otherwise, here x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 given. So, let us use the formula. Using this formula, probability of x equal to 1 success, x equal to 1 success is e power minus lambda, lambda by power 1 by 1 factorial, which is e power minus lambda into lambda. If you calculate for 3 successes using the same formula, e power minus lambda, lambda cube by 3 factorial which is e power minus lambda, lambda cube by 6. So, let us use the given relation and using the given relation 1, probability of x equal to 1 is 3 by 2 times of probability of x equal to 3. So, e power minus lambda into lambda is 3 by 2 times of e power minus lambda, lambda cube by 6. That implies e power minus lambda gets cancelled. And here this 3, 2 times. So, 4 lambda is equal to lambda cube. Lambda cube minus 4 lambda is 0. So, lambda common lambda square minus 4 is 0. So, lambda equal to 0 or lambda square is 4. If lambda is 0, what will happen? If lambda is 0, in Poisson distribution, lambda is NP, NP will be 0, either N is 0 
or P is 0, which is not possible. If P is 0, that event is called impossible event, which is not possible. And if N is 0, there is no number of trials, that means the experiment is not performed. So, we cannot consider this case. So, using this lambda cannot be 0. So, what else remains? Lambda square equal to 4, lambda equal to plus or minus 2. And again, you cannot take lambda as a negative value. Lambda is always positive. So, lambda equal to 2. So, this is not equal to minus 2. Hence, the value of lambda is 2 using the given relation. Now, if you have the value of lambda using the Poisson distribution formula, you can calculate the given probabilities. So, therefore, we have the value of lambda is 2 and we have the probability definition, probability of x equal to capital X, probability of capital X equal to small x is e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. Since lambda is 2, this is e power minus 2, 2 power x by 2 factorial. Just by changing this value of x, we can calculate the probabilities corresponding to that x successes. So, in the given problem, we need to find probability of x greater than or equal to 1, then x less than 3 and x lies between 2 and 5. So, using this formula, now these three problems are given for practice to the students. Just I will give the direction and you can simply pause the video and you can calculate the values. If the first one is x greater than or equal to 1, so probability of x greater than or equal to 1 can be obtained as 1 minus probability of x less than 1. x less than 1 means only 0. Similarly, the second one is probability of x less than 3. So, x less than 3 means this is sum of x equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 plus x equal to 2. We should not include 3 because it is strictly less than 3. Similarly, the third one, probability of 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 5, including the n values 2 and 5. So, probability of x equal to 2 plus x equal to 3 plus x equal to 4 plus x equal to 5. Total 5 probabilities you need to calculate and add all such values. So, these 3 problems are given for practice to the students. Coming to the summary of today's uh, session, today I have solved some problems on Poisson distribution. In some problems, the number of trials n and p will be given. Then using these two, we can calculate uh, the value of lambda lam using lambda equal to np. Whereas in some problems, lambda will be given directly. So, use the definition of a Poisson distribution formula e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial to find the required probabilities or in some problems the relation between for example probability of uh, in some problems the relation will be given as probability of xi is equal to k times probability of xj. So, using this relation we can calculate the value of lambda first then the required probabilities using the definition of Poisson distribution. So, to calculate this lambda here, we can use the recurrence relation of Poisson distribution or the definition of Poisson distribution depending on the given relation and then calculate lambda and use the Poisson distribution formula to find the required probabilities. <coughs> In the next session, we will solve some more problems on Poisson distribution and how to fit a Poisson distribution that we will discuss in the next session. Thank you very much and we will meet in the next session.